Today, this lesson is going to demonstrate to you how you're going to make your own felt soft round Kandinsky circle, which is very similar to his circles that he has on his Tree of Life. I'm going to just set this to the side, but I just want you to see. We're going to learn about how to do blanket stitching and a darn stitch and how we're going to layer these colors. First, what you need is a template and I'm going to give you all one of these circular templates. First thing you need to do is just to write your name on it. So I'm going to go Mrs. D and we're going to start with the largest circle. So you can see the largest circle. I'm going to put a cross there. I'm going to miss the next circle and I'm going to go to the next size of the circle. And I'm going to put a cross there. So I need another felt one that size. I'm going to miss the one that's next to it and I'm going to go to the next circle which is there and then I'm going to go to the next one which is there. So I've missed out the ones that are closer in size. I've kind of skipped a size and went to the next one down. So if you look at my template, I've gone for the big one. They're all basically the four in the bottom right hand corner. You're going to cut these paper circles out first. And when you've cut them out, you should have nice perfect circles that you're going to use to go up against pieces of felt. Now I'm going to give you pins and just with a couple of pins or double sided tape can work as well you tape and I want you to go as close to the edge of the felt that you've got so that we're economical. I don't want you just to put the piece of paper right in the middle and then we really lose the rest of this. So be economical. I'm going to try and cut up these uh, felt squares so they're more in the size that we need. You're going to cut out different colours of circles using your paper templates first so that you end up with a selection. With the big one you need to make two. Now you can either have two the same colour or two contrast in. The reason why you need two is that you need one for the front as well as one for the back. Okay, so then you have that which is then going to be used and stitched up and stuffed. So if I take this one and I show you this, say this is my front and this is the second size of the circle, this is the third size of the circle that I picked, I went back to the first colour and I actually did that one there and then I'd use the pink as a contrast there. Or I can change it round if I wanted to and do it that way so that I've got a complement there to there. Okay? What we're going to first do is we're going to pick some coloured thread. Okay? And then we're going to do, I'm going to put these two to the side, the back one to the side, and we're going to start, we're going to actually sew this one to this one. Okay? And if I pick a nice colour that's not the same, so say I pick this one, I'm going to pull the thread and you'll wonder how much thread do I really need. And how I kind of judge is just roughly I go round, I go round again, and I just do a little bit extra and that gives me a rough idea that that's enough. Now you're all going to get a needle, so I want you to be very careful with the needles. And it's got a very large eye. And you're going to thread it. Okay. Okay, and then pull it through. So what you have pull it all the way th down. very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the smaller circle and what you can do is you can take the end, the very end of the thread and you can actually tie a knot. Okay? Just a little knot at the very end. And that should catch. Now this is the inside so I'm just going to push this at the very edge, pull it through and there it's caught. Cool. You see I've got a little tail, so I'm going to keep that tail inside like that. And I'm just going to push it through again, just to get it started. Now do you see I've got a little stitch. Now I'm going to layer it. And just push it through. 
and just centralize it and then turn it over and I'm going to bring it back through again pull it all the way through now what I'm going to start to do is a, is a blanket stitch so I push it in and then bring it out again you can turn it over to have a look push it in bring it out again now if you look at my example and you see how I did my blanket stitches I went around and around you see the sort of size and I can show you this example now you can see I've done additional stitching and that was really for decoration but the main point was to stitch each smaller circle to the bigger circle so once I've got this grey one stitched to the pink I would then finish it off and if I wanted to finish it off I'd just go behind and I'd tie a knot at the back like that and then I'd cut it off and then I'd be ready then to start stitching my purple one to my grey one and again I would start with my thread and my needle in my purple one and then I'll attach it to my grey one and then I'll start with my needle and thread in my green one and then I'll attach it to that one until I've got them all layered this is part one and I'll help you in getting that started if you're actually as a trick if you're having difficulty tying knots another way of getting started is if you put your needle through the back bring it through and then stop there so you've got a tail keep your finger on it and then go back in again as close as you can to where you just come out okay push it through still holding that tail and then go back out again where it was again so really you're just going in and out at the same point and when you tug it it shouldn't come out so I just go in and out at that same point about three or four times and then it's caught. Do you see? I've gone in that hole three or four times and it won't come out now. So you can either tie a knot like that or you can go in and out at the same point until you know it's definitely caught and then you can start doing your blanket stitch. And it's really like a train track and it's going round and round. Okay, so first thing, get your template, cut out your paper circles big one skip one big one skip one big one skip one so you've got four pick your colors cut those out okay and then get your needle and ch choice of threads remember go around twice and a little bit more so you've got the right amount of thread so you don't have to stop and start and reattach now it's your turn part one of making your Kandinsky soft circle